Irene Dunn, a stalwart figure in classic Hollywood, continues to resonate through time, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her enduring qualities as a performer have solidified her status as a timeless symbol of the silver screen. Whether it was her remarkable versatility or the genuine emotion she brought to each role, Dunn's contributions have left an unmistakable legacy. For many, the recognition of Irene Dunn happened in a moment of cinematic revelation. Her on-screen presence, marked by grace and authenticity, captivated audiences from the outset. The first encounter with her work became a lasting memory, setting the stage for an enduring appreciation of her craft. As we reflect on the cinematic journey paved by Irene Dunn, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic Hollywood figure. Your stories enrich the collective appreciation for her contribution to the world of film. We would love to hear your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below. What enduring qualities do you think make Irene Dunn an everlasting symbol of the industry? When was the first time you recognized Irene Dunn? Share your stories and memories below. Irene Dunn, an accomplished actress, attributed her youthful appearance to the importance of ample sleep. Her studio contracts were tailored to accommodate this belief permitting her to commence work at 10 a.m. and conclude by 6 p.m. This practice not only showcased her commitment to her well-being, but also underscored her professionalism. In 1938, during her marriage to Dr. Frank Griffin, Dunn expanded her family by adopting a four-year-old child named Mary Frances from the New York Foundling Hospital. This marked a significant personal moment for Dunn, demonstrating her dedication to family life amid a thriving career in the entertainment industry. Adding a maritime touch to her diverse experiences, Irene Dunn played a unique role in the launch of the Liberty Ship SS, Carol Lombard. She ceremoniously smashed the traditional champagne bottle on the ship's bow, symbolizing her connection to the broader cultural and historical landscape. These aspects of Irene Dunn's life provide glimpses into her multifaceted persona, showcasing a woman who prioritized both personal fulfillment and professional excellence. From her disciplined work hours to her commitment to family, and even her participation in maritime traditions, Irene Dunn's life reveals a blend of tradition, modernity, and individuality. Discovered for films during her role in the first national touring company of Showboat in 1929, Irene Dunn's journey in the entertainment industry was set in motion. Playing and singing the role of Magnolia, she reprised her performance in the film adaptation in 1936. Beyond acting, Dunn showcased her versatile talents, notably displaying her beautiful singing voice in the 1944 movie Together Again, where she sang Gardel's Tango Addis Muchachos in Spanish. Her career spanned decades, with her last official public appearance occurring in December 1985 during the Kennedy Center Honors in Washington. Unfortunately, she collapsed at the Saturday night reception after the group photograph of the honorees, rendering her unable to attend the gala the following night. From her early days in touring theater to her enduring presence in Hollywood, Irene Dunn's legacy is marked by her multifaceted talents and enduring contributions to the world of entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. Selected fact, she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6440 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on February 8, 1960. Irene Dunn's impact on Hollywood was immortalized when she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This prestigious honor, awarded on February 8, 1960, at 6440 Hollywood Boulevard, symbolizes her enduring contribution to the world of entertainment. Dunn's journey, from her early days in touring theater to her remarkable presence in Hollywood, is a testament to her multifaceted talents. Beyond her prolific acting career, Irene Dunn was a woman of diverse interests and affiliations. While achieving success in the entertainment industry, she remained an active member of the Church of the Good Shepherd and the Catholic Motion Picture Guild in Beverly Hills, California. Her involvement in these organizations reflected her commitment to both her spiritual beliefs and the film community. In addition to her cinematic achievements, Irene Dunn played a unique role in the christening of the Stern Wheel Riverboat Mark Twain at Disneyland's official opening in Anaheim, California on July 17, 1955. This honor, bestowed upon her by Walt Disney, highlighted her connection to riverboats since her childhood in Kentucky and her iconic role in showboat. Irene Dunn's legacy is not confined to the silver screen. It extends to the heart of Hollywood, engraved in the star-studded sidewalks of the Walk of Fame. Her story is one of talent, dedication, and a seamless blend of personal and professional pursuits, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. 
Friends with Loretta Young, Bob Hope, James Stewart, Ricardo Montalban, Roddy McDowell, Cesar Romero, Director Bill Frey, and Interfaith Foundation Director Daniel Donahue. Irene Dunn's social circle reflected her amiable and well-connected personality. One of her closest friends was Loretta Young, who in the past organized a weekly girls club that included Anita Louise, Irene Dunn, and Loretta's two sisters. This camaraderie extended beyond the silver screen, showcasing Dunn's ability to form lasting bonds in the entertainment industry. In the aftermath of Irene Dunn's passing, she found her final resting place at Calvary Cemetery in East Los Angeles, California. However, an interesting note lies on her tombstone, mistakenly indicating her date of birth as 91 instead of 1898. This subtle error adds a unique touch to her legacy, highlighting the imperfections and memorializing a remarkable actress and person. The connection she maintained with industry figures and her notable placement in Hollywood's Walk of Fame tell a story of Irene Dunn that transcends her on-screen achievements. From close friendships to the nuances of her final resting place, these details contribute to the tapestry of Irene Dunn's life, leaving an intriguing mark on Hollywood's history. In 1965, Irene Dunn broke new ground by becoming the first woman elected to Technicolor's board of directors. This milestone marked not only a personal achievement for the accomplished actress, but also a significant step in challenging gender norms within the industry. Dunn's impact extended beyond her on-screen talents, showcasing her influence and recognition in the business side of filmmaking. Her trailblazing role at Technicolor was not an isolated accomplishment. Irene Dunn had actively campaigned for President Dwight D. Eisenhower in the 1952 and 1956 elections, a commitment that earned her the role of an alternate delegate to the UN General Assembly in 1959. This dual engagement in both the entertainment world and political arena highlighted Dunn's diverse interests and her ability to navigate different spheres of influence. While she is widely remembered for her roles in black and white cinema, it's worth noting that her only full-color production in three-strip Technicolor was Life with Father, where she co-starred with William Powell. This cinematic choice added a vibrant dimension to her filmography and showcased her adaptability across various cinematic technologies. Irene Dunn's legacy is not just about captivating performances, but also about breaking barriers and leaving an indelible mark on both the film industry and political landscape. Her journey from the boardroom of Technicolor to the diplomatic stage of the UN underscores a remarkable woman who transcended the conventional boundaries of her time. As the curtain falls on our journey through the enchanting world of classic cinema, let's take a moment to bask in the timeless brilliance of a luminary who graced the silver screen with unparalleled elegance. Whether she painted the canvas of romance with a delicate brush or commanded the stage with the prowess of a seasoned virtuoso, Irene Dunn's artistry remains etched in the annals of cinematic history. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight of reminiscence. Reflect on the moments when Dunn's performances whispered to the depths of your soul or resonated with the echoes of your own life. Share with us the memories that flutter like delicate butterflies in the garden of your consciousness, stirred by the gentle breeze of Irene Dunn's cinematic legacy. Let your thoughts become a part of the collective tapestry of admiration that we weave in celebration of a remarkable artist. In this communal ode to excellence, your voice adds a unique note to the harmonious melody of appreciation. So don't be a mere spectator, be a participant in this grand symphony of shared experiences. As we draw the final curtain, let gratitude be our curtain call. Irene Dunn, with her indelible mark on entertainment, continues to cast a luminous glow that transcends the boundaries of time. Thank you for joining us on this journey of reflection and homage. Appreciatively yours, a connoisseur of timeless cinema.